Welcome to Drawing Conclusions. Yes, welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Fresh in your tea, Kavner. <laughs> oh, we must be reviewing an English film That's today. right. Oh. That's all the lead-in you need to know about <laughs> English movies. Fresh in your tea, Kavner. <laughs> So today we are reviewing The Kid Who Would Be King. Yes. And this stars Louis Ashbourne Circus as right. Alex, the new king, right, who uh, pulls the sword from the stone in this King Arthur modern take, take on the yep. King Arthur legend, a continuation of that legend, I guess. Uh, and it's also got Tom Taylor and as one of his sidekicks, who's the kid from Dark Tower. Right. And... Uh, then uh, his other knights are played by Dean Chalmu and Rihanna Doris. Right. Anything else? Uh, this also stars Rebecca Ferguson, Patrick Stewart, and... Angus Imrie or Imrie? A not... Angus Imrie. Yeah, I'm not yeah. sure if it's Imrie or Imrie. Yeah, Angus Imrie. Anyhow, that basically rounds out the main characters. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, like you said, this is a modern take on the uh, old King Arthur legend. Um... What did you think of this movie? So I wasn't expecting to enjoy it very much, but I actually did really enjoy it. Yeah. I thought it was a very fun movie. You mm -hmm. know, it was interesting. I never was bored. Um, I was really invested in what happened to the characters. Mm -hmm. um, it was funny. Yeah. You know, and um, it was and touching in places. I thought it was a really nice family film. Yeah. What did you think? Uh, a lot of that, I guess I'd have to echo, you know, cut, copy, paste, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a good family film. I liked the characters. I liked the uh, the four young people cast together. I thought they worked well together. Yeah. Um, Angus Emery, I thought, stole the show. Yeah, definitely. Especially in, in his introduction to the uh, audience. I thought it was really funny. Yeah, he plays really the young good. Merlin. He's very good. Yeah, he does. Um I, I like the this idea, this quest movie. I think it's you know not too serious, but not too silly, and I think it's it works. Right. I think it, it's a it's a pretty good family movie. It's really well constructed for yes. I think the age group and the audience that it's going for. Yeah, this kind of tweener, uh, you know, audience right. that these kinds of movies are geared towards. But it's it's good enough that the whole family could enjoy it. You know, yeah. it's it's entertaining for adults, too. It's not mm -hmm. just one of these dumb kid movies that, uh, you know, parents, like, have to... Yeah. <laughs> Cover your eyes, kids. <laughs> to, Co well, to, like, they yeah. have to, like, you know... Calm them. Drink hmm. heavily to get through it or whatever. Oh, so. yeah. Those kind of shows. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, my gosh, why is my yeah. kid making me watch this? Yep. It's, it's not, not one, one of those. those. No, it's, it's enjoyable. It, it's fun. And uh, I, I thought it was well done. I mean, it's not perfect. There are some things about it that... I'm sure. I, I did like, for the most part, the cinematography yeah. and the design choices for some of the uh, characters like and some of the monsters that show up. Um, right. For the most part, I did actually enjoy a lot of that stuff. That was pretty unique and original. That was right. well done. Anything you didn't like? Oh, well, one thing I oh, want to say thing. about the design. One of the things I liked is the costumes for young Merlin versus the older version of Merlin that's played by Patrick Stewart. Yeah, and they changed. And <laughs> how it was like the same outfit, but not the same outfit. Right. That there were, there were color differences. I thought that was a really interesting choice. Yeah. And um, I don't know. I just, I really liked that, mm -hmm. um, how they used that. And I liked the, the music in this movie too. I thought it was good. And I liked the way that yeah. they used the music. It was not overbearing. Oh my no. goodness, thank goodness for that. No, I think it really it really enhanced it. Enhanced the story, which is what this music should do, is enhance the storytelling. Right. Um, and I thought that really did that. It was really well um, scored, this film. Uh -huh. um, and I thought that, I agree that the chemistry between the four main characters, those kids that play the four main characters, was really good. And they, you, they were believable in their roles and, and all likable. You know? Yeah. Um, so I like that too. What was the question that you asked me? <laughs> was there anything you didn't like about oh, it? Oh, anything I didn't like about it. Um, I did not like the design of Morgana in her like monster form. Yeah, you'll uh, see that at the end of the show. Yeah. Don't want to give away too much there. Yeah, I, I didn't really care for that. I thought it looked really phony and I didn't like the design of it and I didn't think it was well rendered. So that's something that I wish had been different. Yeah. Um, but... And then there were some choices in the movie that were pretty formulaic and cliche but 
But, you know, I, I don't, it didn't bother me a whole lot, but, you know, there were some, there were things about it that weren't super original. Sure. Uh, I, I, I kind of echo that as well. Um, we did talk about this on our uh, Patreon podcast, The Drive Home. The, uh, the end monster fight scene was, you know, it looked a little like maybe year 2000-esque kind of digital modeling, and it wasn't, wasn't great. I didn't actually even care for the design itself, yeah. personally. You know, I think they could have gone with something a little bit more menacing and scary, but whatever. <laughs> it was still fine. It didn't throw me off my, uh, me enjoying the show at all and so i mean this is little nitpicky things like maybe you like it and you think it's cool maybe you don't i personally did not yeah um i think you know beyond other than that i, I didn't have any other like you know faults with the show like yeah there's some formulaic stuff but it's like whatever it's like is this supposed to be like groundbreaking or anything like that right no not really and that's okay it doesn't need to be yeah and so but i, I do like that they didn't like just totally go with that stuff. They kind of like, right? Not every know. there. It's, despite the fact that I said that there were some things that were formulaic and cliche, there were some things that were actually very original and clever. Yeah, things that they did that were different than how you would expect them to yeah. be, which I thought was nice. Mm-hmm. You know? So I, I did like that. Yeah, uh, the movie is, you know, it's long. It's what was it's it about two hours? About two hours long, and um, it doesn't really feel like it. Not totally. I yeah. think they're like. Uh, they get to one point and you think maybe it's over and then like all of a sudden, oh, it's not over. And you're just like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> Anyhow. The, but, they went to the Peter Jackson School of Directing. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Like, remember Multiple when endings. Return of the King had like five endings. Yeah. <laughs> we could do two. <laughs> yeah, I could pull a few off. Um but it, it, it again, it didn't bother me. No, it didn't, no, no. It didn't throw me off enjoying the show, and I actually thought it was kind of a, a nice twist that there was more, yeah, more coming. That's kind of a spoiler. Spoiler. Spoiler esque. But I didn't the give away. Not the end. Well. That's kind of a big spoiler, actually. All right. <laughs> I'm just saying. You're just saying. I didn't say what happened. I, just, I know. I know. I just but said just, look for more. Anyway, okay. All right. <laughs> I've had my moment. All right. <laughs> Overall, what did you uh, give this movie? Um, I would say that this is like a three and a half. It's a very solid family film. It's um, funny. The kids will like it. It's um, engaging for adults, too. Mm-hmm. Um, it's got a, a good message to it. There's nothing, you know, unwholesome about it right you know and um and the the action and the intensity is gripping but not so intense and scary that you couldn't have your kids watch it sure so three and a half good family film yeah i would echo that three and a half out of five uh i i do like that they didn't go like they could have very easily made this like kind of a, a raunchier style show and more like crass and crude but they didn't and i appreciate that so no it's it was stuck very much to this idea of nobility and right. of the knights, you know, which mm-hmm. was nice. Right. All right, Josh, why don't you tell us a little bit about this picture that you did for the review? So I've done, I've singled out the character Alex, who uh, is the one who, you know, by the picture, pulls Excalibur from the stone. And, you know, he's got his armor clad over his uh, <laughs> blazer or whatever, <laughs> his track suit. Anyhow, um, this is uh, pastel pencils on pastel paper, and I, I really like working with that uh, paper with the textures. It adds a lot of depth and, and dimension, just gives a lot more feel to me. Yeah. And I like the colors in the picture, the, the blue, but then with the contrast is uh, with his bright red and shining armor. Well, I just cool. like the like fiery embers in there. Yeah. I'm always fascinated when you do pictures, and this is not even in your color pictures too, it's like I, in your pencil work as well, how you create the effect of light and things looking like they're glowing and things like that um, in your pictures. And I just, you know, with the moon, the the, the, the eclipse. eclipse that's happening there, yeah, with the solar eclipse, I guess that's the 
the sun that's shining behind the moon, right? Right. So now that I've seen the movie, I understand what that is. So, <laughs> <laughs> right, but, right. But like the, yeah, the light from the sun that eclipses, and then all of the fiery embers down there and how they just look like, I mean, they look like they're fiery embers. They don't just look like they're spots. these orange spots, you know, yeah. that, that effect that you get. I always find it really fascinating. It looks really nice. Thank you. I had a good time drawing it, and actually this one went surprisingly uh, faster than I thought. I thought we might have a, a chore on this one with all the, the light sources, but it actually went pretty quick, and it was a lot of fun. Um, I'm glad I was able to pull this off and pay tribute to a, a good, decent family show. All right, that is it. Thank you so much for joining us. What should they do now, Joshua? They should definitely like this video. Yep. They should subscribe. Yes. And... They should comment on this yes. video because we want to hear from you. Yes. And our adoring fans. Just kidding. And, then, <laughs> <laughs> and you should share this video and you should share our channel and uh, and help us get the 200 subscribers because we're almost there. So close. As of this recording. Mm -hmm. And uh, and uh, what else should they do? Oh, and watch our other videos because yeah. also, you want to hear more from us and see more of Josh's amazing artwork. That would be appreciated. Also, check us out on Patreon. It helps keep the channel going. Yep. All right, that's it. Thanks.